So this is where it all started in 1998, apparently. Damn, that is loud. <laughs> I, uh... I think I played this really briefly. I know, uh, like, way back when, I had a friend who just, like... was just like, man, this game is so cool, it's got a little girl with a giant anchor. Was it Saber? No. Oh. I was gonna say it's a local friend, and then I remembered Saber lives in the same state as me, but yeah. Oh yeah, we have Destroyed, which wins you just the entire game. Good game design. <laughs> Are all doctors this crazy? Wow, nice one. Nice portrait, Potemkin. <laughs> I always love that one. It's a <laughs> interesting aesthetic for this game. Yeah, like originally they were gonna have like pre rendered CG models for everybody, like Donkey Kong Country. What? Yeah! And then they scrapped it and were like, uh, how about we have some uh, anime sprites instead? Is there a. Uh... Well, they're a lot smaller than, uh, the series would go on to be, but they're still pretty big, as far as I can tell. Uh, I think they're, like, uh, like a standard size. Like, if you were to put it next to, like, Street Fighter 2 Ryu, it would be about the same. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Is this whole arcade run just going to be instant kills? It's 21 minutes, so... Condemned top. Hmm. Yeah, this game is- this series is no stranger to weird move names. Alright, so certain characters just change their design in, like, every game, and Milia was one of them. Like, Milia is kinda different in, uh, X, and then they recycle the same sprites for XX, cause, you know. And then, come Exert, she gets yellow, she gets leggings, and then in- Strive, she gets a coat, and she gets a dump truck for an ass. As you do. Yeah, natural character progression. Ew, that throw looked horrible! <laughs> Guilty Gear is a thing I have mixed feelings on as time goes by, but, uh, it is not a stranger to having just some really awful things. Yeah... There's, like, good things about gear, and then there's bad things about gear. It's a pretty polarizing thing. I will say, I've never liked Milia, and that is... stayed consistent. Understandable. <laughs> wow, so <laughs> bad guy! <laughs> a little late to the, uh, revelation there. Yeah. Then there's this guy, who... They keep trying to get out of the series, even because he's dead, canonically, but they keep bringing him back, and they're like, he's a problem. Yeah, this is just not a good design, like, uh, gameplay-wise. It seems like, what if we had a very small character with a very big weapon? It's like, huh, that sounds kind of funny, but it also sounds awful. Yeah, like, I'd imagine, like, the only way to make that kind of balance is if you make that character slow, and their super big, like, weapon normals be slow, also. Is- is Soul's wind pose not aligned properly? Uh, I don't think so. Great. Why did- why did Mei have missed Finer in this game? <laughs> oh, she did? What the fuck? Yeah, it said it on our move list. Which, I don't think covers all the moves. And back to the topic of misalignment. I know that, uh, misalignment has been true and tried in Arc System Works game, given that they have never patched out Merkava in BB Tag. What is happening where, like, the screen turns red and the opponent just, like, looks really freaked out? That's the instant kill activation. I think you have to press something in order to do it. 
but your opponent can also try to counter it by doing something themselves. Brilliant. You could see why it was reworked in order to be, like, fucking useless. Unless your opponent is dizzy. Not the character. <laughs> wow. Consecutive bow jabs. So, things that are consistent, uh, the soundtrack, and, um, the control scheme, it looks like? Yeah, I think, uh, their wacky control scheme of punch, kick, slash, and heavy slash, and dust, too. Yeah, no, that, I think that may be the thing I like the least about Guilty Gear, is its control setup is just... What if we did something that was weird? It's like... Yeah, it's like... If you think about it, it actually is like... Light, medium, heavy, heavier overhead. Yeah, and it's it's one of the things like special attacks are like... Mapped to one button usually, but sometimes they're mapped to two. It's like, oh, you have different strengths of punch and kick. It's like, what? Huh? This is... also, Axel's design in this one has always been strange to me. He's ripped as hell, he's got jorts, and his chains are the loudest thing in this game. That's saying something, considering how loud... oh my god, you're not kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? Um So what's design. up with British characters in fighting games with spinning fire circles? Is, is that a thing? I mean, Axel has that super and Billy Kane has that super too. Huh. I like the, the stage design for the most part. It seems, uh, Chip, what's wrong? <laughs> I smell the fart. Oh, his idle animation. Dude, what are you doing? I don't want to find him. <laughs> Can't believe this dude would become president. Where's my stimulus check, Chip Biden? I didn't get Saber's opinion on Chip Zanoff. Actually, <laughs> actually, I think I really like this guy. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Yeah, like, Chip is pretty consistent throughout, except, I guess, his story. Like, Chip is actually one of the... his backstory was one of the inspirations for uh, Sherm's. Because oh, I think yeah. Chip was a drug dealer until, like, a ninja came around, and then he was like, I want to become a ninja. So I guess the only next natural progression for Sherm is that he wants to become president. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, but... I don't know if we would get the opportunity to have a battle craze set where Sherm is old enough to become president? Oh boy, it's... it's this guy. Break the law! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I feel like you do that a lot in fighting games, let's be fair. Yeah, especially this character, because he's a puppet character. Um, yeah, well, okay. okay. Wow, that, that, like, claw had, like, three frames of animation. I love the stage design. The stage design is good. I think it was based off of an album cover of something, but I don't remember what. I say that, is that the Great Wall in the back? Uh, of China? That's what it kind of looks like from here. Uh, just like a, a weird castle, I guess? I- I guess. I don't know. They're just like... Let's make it- let's make the stages look metal as hell. You know, I'm down with that. I mean, that's not a bad philosophy to go down. I feel like everything about this game is metal as hell except, like, the character the designs.
Like, they're, the, the designs are just thoroughly very anime. And they never really got away from that. Yeah. It's like anime and rock and roll. People love anime and guitars, right? I mean... I was gonna say I do, but I actually don't. I like guitars. You don't like anime. I I uh, I like it when anime is uh more <laughs> sensical than this. I I get that. Stun Dipper. Needle spike. He has the needle ability. I hope he does the dumb flip move that they gave to Robokai too. I, I think that was the old version of fucking the unblockable uh, Greed Sever. Oh my um, god, this game. Where, what is pushback? Uh, he did an air dash. There's the move. There is the move. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on in this fight. Like, I thought I had a handle on it before, but then this started happening. This is what parents think fighting games are. What the fuck? Oh! Yeah, that's his instant kill. Wow, okay. Game design. Hey, at least it looked better than him just stabbing you. Oh yeah, he did just have that. And then they made it look better in Exert. Are, are instant kills even gonna come back in Strive, or are they gonna nix that because they're like, this is a bad idea? <laughs> I mean, I hope they're gone, let's be honest. Oh no, he became a shittier character. Uh, coconuts? <laughs> His recovery during Volcanic Viper, was he just flopping on his side? <laughs> this, why did the game suddenly become way more incomprehensible? As soon as Kai and Soul started fighting. Uh... Uh... I don't know, why is that Kai normal two hits? Breaker. What's a breaker? A uh, better game? Yeah. Even vanilla breakers is better. Oh, that's dust or something, I guess. It looks way fucking weirder. What the? <laughs> yeah, Man? it's just like that uh, blunder craze of Wallace flopping on the ground. <laughs> Go to sleep, little uh, dude. Freddy Mercury. Enough Guilty Gear games. Alright, this guy was a boss at some point. Yeah, he was like, cool, and then he was like, I gotta protect Dizzy. I gotta protect Dizzy. Blur. I mean, this game is pretty funny. Yeah, it is. Spare me. Guilty Gear. Zex. E EXE Beast. <laughs> yeah, it's like Sonic.exe, where Testament will look at you with his hyper realistic eyes for 10.1 seconds. I was gonna say, that's like his hacker name. <laughs> that's just his forum name. That's his uh, Twitter account, too. Okay, oh, yeah, he has like a really fucking weird voice in this. And also his scythe isn't made out of blood. He wasn't channeling Jetta. He doesn't have the power of the censored grape juice. Oh! That, that was, that was fast. Get 
yeah, just keep doing that. Okay. Oh yeah, right, Testament has a super move named Master of Puppets! Of course he does! Yeah, this game's like... There's blatant stuff like that, and then it's like... Uh, it's little bad guys based off of Freddie Mercury. And also, Justice was a dude in this game, because the English translation, I think, got Justice's gender wrong because of a very, very prominent piece on that character. Doesn't that, Doesn't suck? that suck? <laughs> well... They spent all of their budget on this cutscene. <laughs> Good uh, camera angle on it. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is not metal, it's just anime. <laughs> like, yeah. they just made like a. Like a mech. I really love this character design, but everything else I can understand why people hate this character. It doesn't even look like the same art style in that portrait. Is she f hovering on her tail? I. I think they're, like, trying to make it look like that she's hovering and her tail is just resting on the ground. She's just positioned a lot higher than in future games. <laughs> it's still boggling to think that they took this game's animations and frames and made them better in the future. This game, this series really doesn't like keeping its bosses around. Yeah. Like, Testament and Justice just fucking disappeared. I mean, Justice kept coming back in the updates to X and XX. Yeah, but like, the recent games, like, they're not to be seen. by. I think they're trying to revive Justice in, uh, Exerd Rev's story mode, but then Jacko was like, no, we can't have that happen, and Slobeko was like, you gotta... I don't know, it's just, Guilty Gear story is just some bullshit. It, it, uh, it certainly is. Like, I would say comparing it to Blaze Blue would be unfair, but... No, I, I would say after Exert, it's pretty fair. Like, I can't say much for what it was leading up to Exert, but Exert was just like, what if we just merged our two series together? with, like, making it Guilty Gear, but it has Blaze Blue's, like, character designs and story. I mean, there's, like, a few characters that they introduced in Strive that I thought were, like, pretty good. And Exert has, uh, a couple, uh, was it Coom? And, yeah, Coom Heon, there's Raven. I know he doesn't look like the way that Raven was in the other games, but still, on his own merits, he's, like, a fun character to play. Yeah, Raven's And then there's all of the Valentines, which are like... No. <laughs> we'll get to that, I guess. Yeah, meanwhile, we can enjoy Justice, and then all the... And then the downgrade, and then the kind of upgrade with Eno, and then the downgrade again. I don't know how this person is following this fight, or any of these fights. Because when you play Guilty Gear, you don't think, HUH?! This game really just looks like madness. It's madness on my fucking ears! Yeah! Let's say the missing link was missing some crucial game design elements. He's missing a lot of things, let's be fair. It's called The Missing Link because they're forgetting the good game design. I think the sprites are nice, I just... Sometimes, like that, they're not used well sometimes. <laughs> and in the TAS, the person got 
soul to do a jab, but he was, like, aligned at the butt of his fist. So he just kept moving. Uh. I've never He's seen missing. soul without his, like, headgear. I've never seen Soul with, like, a chunk of his hair missing. That is a different game! Like, this looks like it's from something entirely different. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, answer the question, please. I'm the prototype gear. I guess I am the guilty gear. Oh my god, what the fuck? When did he get nails? He's slowly turning into a, like, a much better design. Can't believe they packed up this much story in this iteration, too. They're all pretty heavy with story, aren't they? Yeah, but like, the first? Yeah, that man. I think. Oh, jeez, yeah. Sold the guilty gear! <laughs> there it is. Prayed the for guilty gear. He prayed for the soul? Okay. Yeah, he prayed from the bar bottom of his heart in order to defeat Gygus. Guilty Gear, Zex. Not yet. Or is that it? No, that's it. I can't keep this shit straight. So this character select screen is a mess, and I'm glad we only saw it for a second. Yeah. This graphic design, like, wow. Uh, audio design too. Yeah, this sounds like a MIDI. <laughs> Was that really pixelated art? What the fuck? Wow, the audio quality, like, picked up, like, damn. Well, I mean, it is a new, uh, console generation. That was kind of, a. Uh... Oh my god, I can't get the audio bounce right. Fuck it. But yeah, like, that was actually kind of a big, like, criminal thing about the PS1. Is, like, audio quality in that was generally pretty fucking bad. Especially, like, fighting games. Yeah, it's like, you could get crystal clear music, but, like, not so much, like, voice samples, unless you're, like, Spyro, where I think it's, like, they have to shut off the music and have, like, the voices then play. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so, uh, this is more familiar, although I actually am not very familiar with the version of the game at all. Yeah, it's definitely more Guilty Gear than Guilty Gear of the Missing Link. They use these sprites for, uh, quite a while. Yeah, like, almost ten plus years. I mean, to their credit, they aged pretty damn good, because they were just very nice from the get-go. Yeah, they're pretty good sprites, but, like, near the end of its life cycle, a blaze blue happened. And, like, people are like, oh, Blaze Blue's gonna be the new Guilty Gear. But then they're like, what if we had the next step in evolution? And we will talk about that when it comes. Yeah. Also, I like Jam, kind of. I like Jam aside from her outfit. I like yeah, the whole, like, needs... seeing up her skirt while she's standing is like, I don't understand why. That seems like poor clothing design. I don't know. That's a that's a dog though. That is certainly a dog. And this is Axel without jorts. I actually like this design. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a very cheesy look, but I do really enjoy it. 
And he's no longer swole. Yeah, he's just more my kind of character. Yeah. What is... The, the audio design is still really fucking weird. Like, the volume is just all over the place. It's like it quiets when you get a KO. That's also true in uh, future games. The announcer is, um... And then there's just a sign that says, FOOD! And, oh, that train is the same one from uh, the previous game. Oh, hey. Callbacks. Oh, boy, Napalm! Napalm! I, <laughs> I love Napalm! Endless in a victory yourself? English? <laughs> Coming stage. Come. Alright, Zep. It's cool, let's enjoy and... A... I didn't have time to read that because it was in a circle. Precursor to Undernight. <laughs> <laughs> What is this announcer? I don't know. I will say the game certainly plays a lot better now. Yeah, it definitely looks like it has competency. It's, like, still really damn weird, but, like, I've actually gotten a lot of enjoyment out of playing, uh, well, XX Reload, but it's still pretty similar to this, it looks like. Yeah. It's definitely not as bonkers as Accent Core Plus are. This music is, uh, lifted. Yeah, it's certainly Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. There's this weird sort of, like, they really skate the line between making a bunch of references and just ripping off other people. I mean, you you can't copyright the word Testament and Slayer now, can you? I mean, that's fair. But also, Slayer is, like, a dumbass name. I'm sorry. Yo! I mean, not, like, innately, a but... Just, like... Oh, he's, like, a really, like... Suave vampire dude. Slayer. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what this word means. Yeah, and then he has move names like Dead on Time and It's Late. Well, I mean, look at him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not a Nirvana. reference. <laughs> yeah, it's a reference to Melly and Chains. <laughs> Ugh, Zato, why do you have long face? Oh, Zato one one. Zato one on. Yamin Izanamashu. Kakugo dekite no ka. I this was Venom stage. It is also Zato stage. All right. They're just like, what stage should they have? A giant demon is pinned to the ground, and it's a checkerboard. Sure. And there's just a chair to the side. I don't, I don't dislike the stage design still, but it's like, it is definitely just nonsense. But I feel like it captures that like metal album cover thing that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Like, you could just take a screenshot of this stage and then just, like, have the metal font with the album name and the band name. Metal albums like them. Soul Bad Guy. <laughs> yeah, albums like Jam Corral Dooberry. 
Frank Zappa. <laughs> Frank Zappa on the album. Cloudberry Jam, Jesus Christ. Hey, if you're gonna make music references, you might as well also have deep cuts. Or just shit nobody's heard of. They changed that super up a bit. Yeah? Cause, uh, now it's like a... He, like, fires his gun? It's like he does a... Uppercut gut punch and then he punches forward as, like, a big thing. Mayship. Mayship. Love Johnny. Johnny Wallpapers. Why is the art pixelated? That looks so weird. It looks like a grainy ass wall that they. Have you ever seen like those walls that just have that weird, bumpy texture to them for oh, yeah. some ungodly reason? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's my walls. Okay, at least the crew here on the May ship look like human beings. So this stage has, like, not changed much, aside from all the background characters? Uh, I think those ships in the front are, like, no longer there in XX, and it's, like, moved closer to the seafloor. Yeah. Like, this is definitely, like, we're higher above the sea than we were in uh, XX. This stage looks a lot better here, actually. Yeah! What the uh, fuck? Yeah, that's what happens when you do the dust and then you jump upward. Cause standing dust is this weird air combo shit. Oh, that's just a different super entirely. Yeah, but he still says Tyrant Rave. In. What does that mean? <laughs> well, speaking of... So who's new here? Is it like, it's like Venom, Jam... Venom, Jam, Anji... Oh. Johnny, Dizzy... And Biken? Or no, Biken, uh, Biken was... Biken was in actually in, uh... The missing link as a secret boss, and back then she looked a lot more like the protagonist of Rurouni Kenshin. But fortunately, the character has moved on to be less like that because the creator of Rurouni Kenshin is kind of an asshole. Oh, I was gonna say, like, that was kind of unfortunate because their design got a lot worse, but yeah. Mostly an excerpt. I think, uh, she looks fine in, uh, these games. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Meanwhile, Venom doesn't get to do anything. Because Venom is cool, and I think Venom is canonically uh, gay, or at least bisexual, given his relationship with Zato 1. Oh yeah, and then people like tried to argue that was not a thing. Because... I think that was just pure project, because that dude hates gay people. And he also had the gall to say that Venom isn't black! So, never mind, ignoring that person. I think- I think that got so bad that, like, when they had, uh, Naguru Yuki for, uh, Strive, they had to say that he was from Nigeria, just to make sure that absolutely in no way could he be misconstrued as anything but. Jesus. Venom is, um, interesting. Yeah. I feel like... I was really into the whole, like, using pool as, like, a fighting style. Because that's so stupid that it's a brilliant. And um, nobody else has really, like, come up with that before. And, like, really only in gear can you kind of do that. 
So this was a hidden boss character, okay. Apparently, because the lore in Guilty Gear is that Justice is extremely racist, she killed out all the Japanese people. Or most of them, because she thought that they had a magic power that could kill her. She thought all Japanese people had magic powers? Yes! <laughs> Alright. So this story has always been really stupid, got it. Yes. Yes, it has. I mean, Viking is cool, she's... She's got one arm and she does, still does all this cool shit, even though that she has three alpha, alpha guard cancels. So this stage is in Japan? Is the colony of Japan, because they're like, we gotta put all the remaining Japanese people in the colony. And then make a giant statue of Blanca holding up a bridge? That's not Blanca! That looks like Blanca. That's not Blanca. Blanca was only that scrawny in Street Fighter the movie. You don't know what it would look like in Guilty Gear. Yeah, they could have had a Sammy vs. Capcom, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Why am I always surrounded by chicks? <laughs> always. Reminder that Kai Kisk is French. Why are there just metallic energy orbs? It's weird seeing, like, sprites that didn't return in the sequels. Yeah! Because they changed that intro up, like, twice, I think. Because in Accent Core, they had this whole fight happen before they start the round. <laughs> So dragon install. Yeah, it just makes him fast. It makes him do that shit. Makes him faster and louder. Stronger. So bad guy, but fast and loud. Slash. Yeah, the XX announcer is so much better. Slash. And, and Just... then there's an active core one that's like, Heaven or Hell, Duel 1, let's rock! It's weird what changed and what didn't. Oh my god, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? I want to say his EX form had that in the uh, sequel, but I could be wrong. God, we should have sprited that for boundaries. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I definitely recognize that from EX form and being like, why, what? Yeah, we just take Ikue's uh, flip sprites from her EX grab, we uh, flip them upside down, and then we just call it a launcher move. <laughs> um. Oh, good, we're in hell. Thanks. Now the music got worse. Why is Testament winking at me? Oh, wink, wink. So this would become Zappa stage, right? Uh. Not, not Zappa, um, Zotto. Yeah. Although there, there's like more stuff closer to this main floor part. Yeah, this is a lot different looking, but it's just... I don't know, I just recognize this is uh, Zotto stage, and it's like... No, uh, Zotto stage is Venom stage now? I don't know. Weird series that they just be like recycling stages. <laughs> I 
now he has a crow. Hey, Cloud Face. So they kept the music around, didn't they, for a while? Yeah, well, like some tracks made it even from Guilty Gear 1, like uh, Chick Zanuck's theme, which is called Suck a Sage. I don't think I can ever forget some of these titles, like Suck a Sage. Haven't you got eyes in your head? I always really liked All of She. <laughs> All of She. And then they tried a little bit too hard when it came to eggs, or like Zato's theme call being called like Black Blank Blah Blah Blah. Oh, yeah. Instead of just feel a fear. Like, that's corny, but it's effective. Yeah, just feel a fear and suck a sage. Yeah. You can close your eyes and count to ten. Oh boy, so here's the worst design in any game ever. Yeah. Dizzy! They just made a child, put her in what I can only describe as, like, a stripping outfit. There he is. And they had, like, one I, I admittedly cool idea with the wings, but, um... Yeah. And then they, like, hammed it up in Exerd, and but they still had, like, the shitty outfit. Yeah, she was still dizzy at the end of the day, so that was unfortunate. Yeah, uh, it's like, at this point, she's like, three, and in Exert, she's like, eight. I mean, which is, like, ridiculous enough to be just complete nonsense, but... She still, like, acts like a child. She has, like, this weird, like, innocence to her, but she dresses like this, and it's like, that doesn't make sense. I remember somebody saying the phrase, uh, they created Dizzy so people would stop making porn of the other characters, and me not being sure if that was a joke or not. I have no fucking clue. What the? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember this. I just know that a lot of fucking Guilty Gear movies are referenced in Blaze Blue when they're unlimited forms. What? And like a lot of them, a lot of them are like the weird shit that they cut and aren't really like a part of their main move set. Like Eddie having this weird super where he just turns into a giant bicycle and runs you over, and they gave that to Arakune, but it was just like his crouching C, but blown up. Wow. They didn't even draw it over again to match the scale. It just they just used angle draw, made it bigger, and called it a day. Oh dear. Also doesn't help that she's like a zoner. Which is not gonna win me over anyway. <laughs> and that does not happen, soul bad guy. That's it, I'm out of here. Fuck these credits. I mean, I didn't want to look at that image either. No! I don't want to see you get- that was really fucking CVS. That was weird. Yeah, and then... that was certainly Guilty Gear X. So, this is the one that you're most familiar with, right? Yes. This is the one that, uh... They had, like, a PC port that was hacked to allow net play? Or something weird like that? Yeah, this is the first time we're seeing a Guilty Gear intro, because the other two didn't have their intros. Oh, yeah. So these, I believe, are the new characters to, uh... Yeah. Either XX or Reload. Character. Uh, they were introduced in XX. Okay. And Robokai doesn't get introduced because fuck him. But they did edit this intro to have, uh, ABA when they did, uh, Guilty Gear XX, uh... ABA? I forgot the name of it. 
Like, I think it was just called Guilty Gear XX Slash, and it also had Order Soul in it. Ah, right. And then they just made Accent Core? I don't know what they're doing. Uh, uh I don't I... think that needs to be louder, thank you! <laughs> um... Yeah, it's like, Soul does Dragon install Volcanic Vine Pair, it's just gonna be like... <sighs> yeah, this is, uh... Yeah. This is one of my favorite character select screens, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. Yeah, no wonder why Blaze Blue aped it. <laughs> There's Robokai. He's a real boy. Who are we playing? Oh. Alright. You have two special moves. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Oh my god, what the fuck? Alright. <laughs> that portrait! I, those fucking portraits. Yeah, these portraits. Virgin has the best portrait in this game. Fucking Angie with horse neck. Oh god, yeah. So Zappa is a character. Very much yeah. just let's go all out in every aspect. Yeah, it's like it's definitely not like bland. It's definitely new and fresh. Because his game plan is essentially I need to get eight orbs in order to get my most powerful form, and in order to do that I have to attack with my ghost friends, which are either a dog, three ghosts, or a sword. And then, uh, you could summon Star Platinum. Star Platinum if he didn't have eyes and was all teeth. He's just the Bobbins bros from, uh, Plock. Oh my god. Um, I like how the instant kill bar just says attack Kata. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good nice spending all of your meter, you ass. Oh yeah, this game place. has Yeah, this game has interesting uh super meter too. Oh yeah, they do meter like in really bizarre ways. It's like I, I know that they're trying to promote aggression by having it decrease if you walk away, but increase if you walk towards them. So, uh, real quick, um, for reasons I don't know, when they ported this game to Korea, they just got someone else to do the entire soundtrack, and it created a Guilty Gear XX Reload Korean version. And uh -huh. it, it is an amazing soundtrack, and I love it to death. I don't know why the fuck they did it, though. I mean, that explains why it is a thing, because I know that Soul... Soul... The first uh, Soul Calibur, uh, Soul Edge, also had that? Weird. I just brought it... I just wanted to bring it up because uh, Bridges theme is called Crash and Burn, and I don't know why I find <laughs> that really funny. Yeah, I wish all those creepy Bridget fans would Crash and Burn. <laughs> I don't think I really need to go into Bridget. Um, I really like playing him, though. He is actually really fun to play. Yeah. Really weird, though, because one of his buttons is just, like, throw out a projectile. Or, like, set up a projectile. It doesn't even like, yeah. hit people. So, it's weird that, like, just one of your attacks is just, like, not a button. <laughs> I mean, it makes more sense here where they have enough buttons as opposed to Big Bang Beat, where one of the characters, uh, their, uh, like, heavy was just a dash, so essentially they only had two attacking buttons. Jeez. And then in the update, they had, like, drive buttons for everybody, so he had his, uh, third normal back. Big Bang Beat is a weird-ass game. Maybe we could do that, just for fun. I do think, uh, unironically, one of my favorite pieces of dialogue from Guilty Gear is, uh, somebody, I forget who, I think it was Eno, approaching Bridget and being like, what's this girl doing here? 
And Bridget's like, I'm not a girl, I'm a bounty hunter. It's like... <laughs> three, What's your gender, bounty hunter? The three genders. Male, female, and bounty hunter. Yes. Wow, Zappa, way to be fucking homophobic. Right, yeah, no, so this game is not very kind to Bridget, which is really weird because they designed him. Yeah, it's like... I think there could be room if Bridget comes back for whatever reason that they could just probably write this character better, but then again, uh... English translation of Jam and Guilty Gear Exert is probably pointing in the wrong direction for that. Oh my god, I'll get to that, I guess. Yeah! Jesus, like, I no, told they... you, I love Jam, I hate what they do with her. Yeah, I, I forgot about that, Jesus Christ. And meanwhile, here's Dizzy again, who's just a character now. She's still three years old. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Zappa is great. I like Zappa. I don't like his outfit. It's a little odd. That's just how Australians dress up. You could ask my uh, animation teacher. Ah, okay. It's just the shorts or the what? It, like, what the fuck is that? He has like a belt and it has like khaki pouches tied to it. Yeah, I, I don't I don't understand this outfit. I mean, at least they had, like, the thought process of being like, we should keep his back, like, completely blank because he's gonna vomit out of it. <laughs> That's a good statement. Yeah, what is this pro coming to? <laughs> she was, like, three, but she dressed like a stripper. I'm sorry, I don't know. Meanwhile, here's Soul Bad Guy in Paris, and he's like, Shut the fuck up. Listen, all I need is a baguette and a brioche. I love the fucking giant blown up locusts, or whatever the hell that is. Yeah, the zap has got some good imagery going on. Zappa was like. It's unfortunate that he, uh, he went away. Yeah, I could kind of find it understandable because he's a pretty, like, hard character to learn and master. I mean, he still exists in the story stuff, but uh, Faust cured him, so oops. Oh. <laughs> he got better. Yeah, he got cured. We haven't seen or talked about Faust. Yeah, or, or bald head. No, we did. We, we saw him at the beginning because uh, he was Doctor Baldhead. Oh, did we? I don't. I didn't, I didn't register that. Yeah, but... we didn't register that because he got instant killed like thirty seconds into the match. All right. Because he's apparently a Chinese doctor named Doctor Baldhead, and then he's Faust, which is German for fist, and he just put the <laughs> paper bag over his head. And then he's like, oh, I changed my ways because I want to make amends for that person that I killed by accident. And then in Strive, he's just a zombie. Wait, so he's supposed to be, like, good as Faust? I, yeah, he's, like, good-natured, but he's pretty chaotic. Chaotic good? Yeah, and I don't know what they're doing in Strive. I don't remember what blurb they had for his story. We've gone for that instant kill, like, every time, and just not gotten it. Yeah, it's not gonna be good as Angie's, where he's just riding on the dragon, and if you get hit by it, you die. Uh, yeah, instant kills were just kind of whatever. Yeah, they're definitely there for player. Especially in, uh, Exert, when they got it 3D, so they're just like... Look at all this cool shit we could do now that it's in 3D. Oh yeah, the dog's real tiny now. Bork! Ah, 
here he comes. Oh man. Yeah. Does he have like the not music in this game? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's his mouth. Yeah, good portrait. So this is really weird because uh, modding this game, it's like this theme is not music, but it's also separated into two different tracks, and it plays two different. So it plays basically two different MP3s that are just ambients, depending on whether or not it's like round one or round two. Yeah, uh, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. It's guilty here. So, like, even modding this to have actual music was a pain in the ass because you had to put in two different songs. <laughs> I actually don't remember what I replaced uh, his theme with. Because I do remember modding the music in palettes back when I was uh, getting into it. For some reason, I modded all of the music, or at least all the character themes, to be Tekken 3 character themes. And I mean, that's not a bad choice. Uh, arcade or uh, PS1? Uh, PS1. Uh... And I found that I think there were exactly the same number of characters. <laughs> so yeah, Robokai was originally just Green Kai Kisk with different moves, but now they actually had the effort to sprite him with new shit. Was he in the original or... X? He like... was not in X or Missing Link. But... Oh, so was, was he like that in the original XX? Uh, like this? Like the, uh, the Green Kai. Yeah, he was, uh, Green Kai in the original XX. Ah. Uh. Like, I think the biggest thing that this, uh, version had other than Cliff and Justice again... Oh, nice one! <laughs> He's actually my favorite character in this game. Like, it's Robokai. a hard choice between him and Slayer, yeah. But, uh, I played a hell of a lot of, uh, Robokai. Slayer is interesting. I hope he shows up so we can talk about him. Slayer's the good design. Yeah! They're like, hey, remember Giant Robo? What if we just made a character that looked like they belong from there? Yeah, that was weird. But they seem pretty big on ripping off anime design, so... Yeah, it's weird that, like, that's a thing that, like, nobody knows fucking shit about unless they post the Alberto the Shockwave gif of him going into his, uh, friend's cape. And he does the Slayer thing with the exact the sign motion and hand wave. Yeah? But it's funny because, uh, Slayer's voice was actually a different giant robo character. So yeah, no, they just- they were just blatant ripoffs, like, half the time. Hey, at least it wasn't K-4-9. I mean... I don't know. I also like K-4-9, so... Yeah, I like him more than Nameless, because he actually has something going for him, even if it's just Akira. Nameless is okay, he's just... He doesn't really fit in King of Fighters. Damn, this this dude's animations are pretty pretty baller. I'd say that Guilty Gear's animation quality is very inconsistent. Because there are some pretty bad looking animations, especially in Accent Core. But uh <laughs> a lot of them are pretty good looking, especially because of how big the sprites are. Yeah. China. Who knows, maybe Jam should just fight in that outfit. That would be a lot better, I'd say. Yeah. Having hair so long that you have to wrap it in a ring is also maybe ill-advised. I don't care if it's impractical, I like it! It's- it's a unique, it's the, it's the onion ring. 
But yeah, it could probably be a hazard, especially if you get it like caught on a hook or if the opponent grabs it. Um, 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 um. Yeah, and so he just spit bananas. What's interesting about Guilty Gear is at least uh, for at least starting at this point, and maybe since the beginning, like every character has like voice packs. It like randomly picks between like a set of voices, so like everything has yeah. three variations, and sometimes there's like themes in like each one. Like I think some of Zappa's actually are like kind of thematic, and like one of them is like more freaked out, and one of them is just more weird. <laughs> the one where you just blah 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 blah. blah. Like that's it's, it's I know something. That yeah, I know that they did that for Blaze Blue too, and then there's like one Noelle sound pack where she just sounds bored out of her mind if you do her fucking drive shit. <laughs> I noticed that they <laughs> coded uh, Battle Fantasia like that when you look in the files, but like they don't actually do that, they just have, you know, random variations. I think it's better that way. Yeah, but I do like the. Uh, that, that was something they were just kind of like happy with, and they uh, they kind of remembered that because it's it's unique. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a really neat idea when they expanded it in uh, BB, where they had like rival dialogue happen as corny as it was with the English voice acting, with Tager just saying "You damn Reaper!" <laughs> Man, even Tager wants Reaper nerfed. <laughs> Understand that intro. I I don't know. Guilty Gear is Guilty Gear. They have this weird thing where it's like the joke is that the anchor is a, an anchor, but also very small creatures are holding it. It's like, all right, um, huh? We tie. So yeah, I'm more familiar with this version of the stage, but it's. Um, just kind of worse. Maybe if they got rid of all of the weird girls, then it would probably be a good stage. I really like this uh, setting, too, where it's like nighttime, but it's also pretty foggy. Yeah, that's not bad. Fuck, it's almost like the Midnight Wandering. But. Or am I thinking of another Metal Slug stage? It's been a while since I've seen the Metal Slug. It's a bit brighter than that. Yeah. Well, maybe I could just have a foggy night stage in Battle Craze too. I'm down for that. Yeah. And then put in a bunch of like little girls in the back. No! Oh my god, that whale! Wow, they upscaled that whale. Up, uh, whale. Up whale. Ah Why did she sound like jam? What the hell? Um. <laughs> they do sound pretty similar. Sob. I just imagine him just saying sob. Sob. Oh, there's Faust. He's got a uh, good stage now. Yeah, he's got a paper bag over his head. Oh yeah, one thing that I failed to point out about this version of Guilty Gear is that the small icons are just whatever the character is doing, but smaller. Oh god, yeah. And then Faust just has a Fist of the North Star reference in his burst. Oh yeah, bursting. Yeah. Burst is all right. Like, you know, just like a get it off real, get a jail free card, you know. But you I think that's a really good idea. 
Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, this. Which they made extra gross in uh, Exert just because they could. There's not really a lot of ways to make that not gross. I mean, you could just have it cut away before he does it. Wow, nice! You try to stab you try to stab me in the chest while I stab you in the ass. And and then he just gets Mugen transparencies. He also can like fail that super if they pick the right thing. Yeah. That's Faust is some some design. Like the fact that he he was actually like viable and exerted despite being just random nonsense is saying a lot. He has a lot more random nonsense in that game, like black holes, a spring, oil slick. I mean, he also does have uh, more consistent tools like range. Uh, he, he just got poke. hit. He got hit during the wind pose. Wow. Oh, wow. I can't really place it, it's like, Guilty Gear just got even more insane from, like, the missing link, but I enjoy this one a lot more. Yeah, it's like the right amount of insane, right? Yeah, like, it's not too stupid, it's just stupid. Yeah, it's not XM Core Plus R. X moves. Oh my god, yeah. There's a lot of characters in this, too, for how big their sprites are. Yeah! I mean, uh, I think this was a few years after uh, X, so they had time to make more sprites. Who committed this murder? And here's Eno herself, who's the boss of this game. God, I hate this boss. I hate fighting this boss, but I like this character. Mixed feelings on her. She's... weird. It doesn't help no. that her moveset has just some of the worst inputs in it. Yo! They at least, like, made the chemical love shit easier to input in, uh, Exit. And then there's this shit. She could Roman cancel this. This move is called Megalomania, by the way. Now, I'm wondering if this was before or after that Halloween hack that Toby Fox partook in. You do realize that Megalomania is, like, a word, right? Yeah, I know that. I don't think, uh, but Toby Fox in... Megalomania, I don't think, even is a word. No, that is definitely, uh, a pun. <laughs> yeah. He just freaked out, he's like, no, you took your titties! Not gonna lie, I hate how fucking the color of her guitar, it like, stands out so much. Like maybe for like a darker teal? Yeah, it just, it, it's just this bright ass fucking cyan, it's like... So yeah, that I attack mean, is, uh... it's easy to distinguish it from the rest of her outfit, which is mostly red, but I get that point. I mean, it's not bad that it stands out, it's bad that it's this, like, awful clashing color. <laughs> I'm just trying to snap your spine and you won't even let me. Yeah, she's a masochist. I think one of her win quotes against Abu is like implying that she uses her key to like. Yeah. I mean, she is married to it, isn't she? 
Yo! And it's funny that that key is voiced by the person who's responsible for Blaze Blue. That that makes the most sense in the world, actually. Yeah, because the person that's... responsible for Noel is the voice of a key who has a woman who's obsessed with it. Like, yeah, that yeah, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Mori wants so many girls to be obsessed with him. That's why he keeps making so much of them. Each Blaze Blue game. He's like, no, this is the, this is the girl. This is the girl. No, this is the girl. No, then this guy is the girl, and this guy is secretly what I wish was me. And then here's the special edition cover art. It's just the girls. They're having a fun time just sitting there. What's that? They actually hate each other? No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, they made it possible in. Uh, well, they didn't make it possible. Uh, in Accent Core, you are not allowed to use instant kills against Boss Ino. Yeah, that seems like uh, something of an oversight. This is the less fun Zappa voice pack. Yeah. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? oh yeah, I think you're supposed to like just like jump over or something. Dummy! Why'd you stick your hand in it? The stage is, uh, not sprited at all. They're just like, here's a 3D stage. I'm one of them! <laughs> Jump. What the hell?! Oh yeah, the risk gauge! You can actually see it in this game! The R-I-S-C? Yes, the R-A-S-C, and don't forget, M-O-M -M mode. Mom mode? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes no sense in fucking Exert, and that's why I don't play it. It's actually kind of fun in, like, these games. Yeah, I think you just have to be, like, right in front of her and then double jump to get over that one. Which yeah, because is... if you jump behind her, then they're just gonna rebound. Oh god. Oh, I thought that was gonna OTG. Oh wow, I didn't notice that the spheres on that projectile each have a kanji inside of them. Oh really? Oh god. Um... Uh... Sex. Yeah, a lot of Zappa's poses with the... What's-her-face? It's just like... I died doing sex wrong. Hey, at least he's a bottom and not a top. At, at least that there's is. that. <laughs> I feel a lot better knowing that. Too say, oh, there's no other Wakamoto for Johnny Wallpapers. Yeah, I was say, like, I don't, I don't know how many... How popular some of these voice actors were, but I know uh, Johnny's is big. And then uh, I think I think Eddie's is like uh, uh, Dio and Shingo too. All oh, right. I'm right, sorry. Right. The announcer is named Gregory Payne. <laughs> There's also the fact that um, this series has had uh, repeated run-ins with um, their voice actors passing, and then. I mean, for Zato, they, they like, changed it so Zato was actually dead, and then Eddie, which is the shadow, is, like, actually controlling him. And, and then they were just like, nah, fuck that, Zato's alive again. Yeah, they just, like, reverted that. That was weird. But yeah, like, the, the, in this game, specifically, he's, like, just named Eddie, because yeah. he's not the one actually alive. Which is, like, a little morbid, but, I mean, hey. 
Also, um, the voice of Slayer is, uh, in Shadow Geist. He was in a few things. I know, uh, he was in Police Knots. Ghost in the Shell. Oh, was he? Yeah. He's, he's, he's great. I love that guy. Uh, rest in yeah. peace. Rest in peace. The guy they got to replace him is pretty good, though, so... Yeah. Ben, our ending really was just... Here's Zappa... doing the tango in, uh, in Iceland. He, he's, he's listening to the Frozen soundtrack. This is uh, my design for the uh, Zappa Amiibo. <laughs> When Zappa gets into Super Smash Brothers, this is his render art. Zappa! Yeah, they're like, here's some ridiculous new DLC characters, and here's Zappa. Yeah, why does anyone ever like, oh man, Soul Bad Guy for Smash? That would be yeah. weird. <laughs> Where's Slayer for Smash? I mean, in my dreams? Yeah! Arc system works. Oh no, someone shot Guilty here. Oh no, X a giant stretched out skull. XX hashtag reload. <laughs> they made like Twitter tags before Twitter. That's, you know, that's, that's something. I think that was a musical term. Sharp reload? Yes. It was a very sharp game. That. Yes. They reloaded.